Hey guys, welcome back to the farm, and here I am, Gordon Stin Freeman, pimping it up Half-Life style. Now this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to try and hook up the quarry. I'll show you the pipe and sorting system that I've done in between this and last episode, and hopefully we'll also get enough sweet chestnut saplings to make our first sweet chestnut tree, and consequently, an orchard. So, let's get about it. Right, so let me show you what I've done in between this episode and last, because I wanted to set up my pipe system in the storehouse and have everything up and running so that when this episode came around, I could finally turn on the quarry and show you guys what we're doing. Now we'll start from the beginning. So that's, oh, can't sprint yet. I need to put some steak in my belly. Oh, lovely stuff. Mmm, chomp, chomp, chomp. Right, so now I'm full on hunger and I've got 57 steaks left. Man, imagine carrying 57 steaks around in your pocket. They go bad so quick and I don't have any mustard or mince, oh, mince sauce either. Right, so our quarry's in place, and you see that yellow and black line means that it's ready to go. It's ready to chomp away at the earth as soon as we get some redstone conduits in here and get power to the quarry. Now, the quarry outputs all the stuff it digs through this pipe. Up it goes. Then there is a sorting pipe here that sorts out the ores and things that we can pulverize from the things that we can't. Now, the things that we can't get sent up this pipe... Oh. This is tricky, actually, this scaffolding. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Oh, I'm at the top now, great. Now the pipe goes up there towards the storehouse, but the stuff that can be processed comes through here. Goes towards this pipe, and... Oh, something's wrong here. Oh, we need an iron pipe, right. Let me go and grab an iron pipe. Right, here we go. So it comes up here, and it doesn't go into this chest. So we'll have to just get rid of this pipe. Oh, catch that. Now we put an iron pipe here, sort this out filtration wise, there we go, right, so it comes up here, next to the conduit, this power going to the pulverizer, now it comes up this pipe, you see, straight to the pulverizer, now I'll come topside, show you the rest. So if the pulverizer's full, it comes back around this circuit, around the loop, back into that chest, which is the overflow, and then it gets pumped out through this wooden pipe, back into the system, so stuff's constantly looping. Now, stuff that gets pulverized in the blue, let's take a look at this. The blue comes in and the red and the yellow, the primary and the secondary, goes out. They both go out towards this pipe here. And this carries down this stone pipe to this chest. Now, I had it initially going straight to the furnace, but it's important that I don't do that because there's some things that will come out of there that can't be furnace and that'll just jam up the system. So they come down here into this wooden, into this chest here. And you can see some of the ferrous ore and the iron ore that we put into the pulverizer previously, just looping around that circuit. So what we'll do is we'll come down to this chest periodically, and we'll take a look at some of the items that are in this chest that can't be furnished. And what we'll do is, we'll add them to the emerald transport pipe here, and you see this has got a bunch of filters. Now if we put in, let's say, oh, gold ingot here, what that means is, if there's gold ingots in this chest, this emerald pipe will pump it out. Actually, we need an engine there. We need a redstone engine underneath to actually pump, pump the uh, materials out. So we'll have to add that later on. But yeah, what that means is like things like um, nitre or, or stuff that comes as a bar rather than a dust out of the pulverizer, things that don't go into the furnace can be pulled out of here and put straight back into the system. But things that do need to be furnished come out of this wooden pipe, go up around here. Now, this is where the, the system fails because I haven't built the furnace yet. So this just loops around, but if we put the furnace here, this should cart materials into the furnace, fingers crossed, and send it out as a bar form, or whatever the smelted form is, through that cobblestone pipe, and the cobblestone pipe goes underground, joins up with the emerald pipe being squeezed out here, and that pipe goes around here, loops up with the pipe coming out of the quarry, and it all gets sent into the storehouse. Okay, sound good? Well now let's jump into the storehouse and I can show you how the sorting system works. Now our sorting system is quite primitive because we haven't got that many materials, and it's a real chew kind of going through all these pipes, adding a million and one filtration systems that send things to different chests. So what we've got is quite a simple system. It comes in the storehouse here, goes around the edge. Now we're not going to need anything that really filters off armor and clothes, weapon and tools, tech, pipes and wires, because remember this is a quarry. So what we're mostly going to have to do is deal with stuff that gets digged up, natural stuff from the ground. That's mostly going to be just cobblestone, sand, dirt, and minerals. So everything gets sent around these pipes, 
Now we skip the build craft and the thorn craft chests, but when we get to the, over to metals and fuel, gemstones, and leftover ores and minerals, this diamond pipe separates those things from each other. So the metals and fuel go in here, the gemstones go in here, like diamonds, emeralds, all things like that. Even, uh, well, lapis lazuli goes in there as well, I think. Then leftover ores, we can put in here manually. In fact, actually, I'll break that, break that, that pipe because we don't have anything going in here yet because there's no filtration for that. Now, they keep going on around the system that the pipe continues along here, goes around the edge. Now, when it gets to dirt and cobblestone, this is this is, this is where most of the materials are going to come out. You see, because we're going to have a full dirt chest and a full cobblestone chest, pretty much. Now, the then they get broken down into dirt and cobblestone, and whatever isn't dirt or cobblestone gets sent around the red. Just double check that's all set up. Oh no, it's not. We've got cobblestone in the yellow coming out there, but we need dirt to go into the um into the red. So we can just add that ourselves now. There we go, into the green, I think that is. Whoops. Just pick that up again. Right. So anything that's not dirt or cobblestone goes out the red, comes along here, and then goes along this pipe along the roof. And what that does is it comes down into the misc unsorted chest. Now this is gonna fill up quite quick. So what I did is I added multiple chests. So if this chest is full, it'll go into this chest. If this chest is full, it'll go into this chest. And here you can see we'll have like tons and tons of room for overflow if we do have any mass materials that haven't been filtered into the system properly. So that's the sorting system. Right, now what do we need to get our system up and running then? We just need one thing, and that's the furnace. So let's see, furnace. And it's the Buildcraft one, not, not blue electric one. Not a bl wow, blast furnace? Wow, that sounds cool. Iron electric induction alloy. Blue electric, furnace, furnace cart, nope. We want a powered furnace, which is the red power one, or rather the uh, the Billcraft one. So what do we need? Machine frame, redstone, redstone reception coil, and bricks. So let's get on making those. Right, redstone reception coil coming up. Machine block. Now, what was that? It was iron. Glass. And was it gold in the middle? There we go, machine frame. Bricks, copper, and redstone. So, bricks. Copper. And redstone. Here we go. Powered furnace. Great. Now, let's hook this baby up. We'll also need some redstone reception coils, or rather some um, some conduits. Here we go, there should be plenty here, to hook up the quarry to our power system. So let's do it. Oh, but it's night time, so let's have a quick kip and start again in the morning before that spider ices us. Oh, he looks deadly. It's a deadly mother trucker. He's no Aragog, but he's definitely a rude dude. Oh no, there's monsters nearby. I'm going to have to do this at night, but I'm tooled up, so I'm not too worried. Oh, rude dude, 10 o'clock. Phaser set to... Waste these suckers? Oh yeah, annihilated. Right, I could probably sleep now actually, now that I killed that spider. As long as there's no rude dudes on my roof. Ah, another glorious morning! Here we are, on the farm. Oh nice, the sugar canes are looking ripe. Our animals are jumping up and down. Oh, it's a disco. It's a, it's a wild party down there in the pens. And we've got a quarried hookup. Now I'm super excited about getting this thing hooked up and running. Oh! Hello there! How did you get in here? Well... Get out there, you little blighter. Come on. No. Where are you going? No! That's upstairs! Oh, ruddy pig. Right, well, we've got a job to do. We can't worry about pigs for the time being. So I need to plonk down this iron, this electric, uh, what is it? Electric powered furnace. That's right. Now, how is this going to work? I suppose you just have an input and an output. Does it need power, though? Oh, it will need power, won't it? Well, that's okay. We've got power in the vicinity. So I can just dig away at this, this wood here. And is there space underneath this to feed? Yep, there's space underneath this to feed uh, feed power. So we put the powered furnace here. Now, the input is the blue, the output is the orange. So we'll just hit the crescent hammer against it until we got it how we want it. Yep, that looks just about right. In goes... Oh, whoops. There we go, that works. So in goes the blue. Wait, no, blue's the input. Whoops, my bad. And orange is the output. Perfect, right. So, blue in, orange out. Now let's come down bottom and see that and hook up the redstone conduits. Right, so they'll come along here. Oh, 
just like that. And along here. Oh, now, this is where we're going to run into trouble because we're going to lock ourselves in here with this. But that's fine. What's that one that lets you keep the ore that you act at the block as you break it? Maybe Feather Touch, I think it is. And that way we can... Oh, what's this? Oh, nice. Now, I've dug too far, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, definitely. So if I, if I dig up, I think, I might, if I'm lucky, hit the redstone conduit. Where are we? No, I, oh, am, I, am I too deep? I must be too deep. So I'm just going to dig up a bit. Build up here with a bit of a nerd pole. Now keep digging up. Do we see anything? Any, 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 any? Oh, what's this? Oh, here we are. Yeah, we've hooked up to it. Right, great. This is where it feeds in. So I'll just come along here with a redstone conduit. And oh, we're running out of this stuff actually. But I think this should be one of the last things we need to power with this stuff. What I'll have to do with the last little bits of conduit is create a room dedicated to all the all the rest of the machines that we need to redstone conduitize. Oh, here we go. Feed along here. No worries. No dramas. Now it goes up there into the quarry and we're hooked up. Oh yeah, this is an exciting time. It's great. It's an exciting time to be alive, dudes. It's so exciting, right? Let's just oh, get up here. Now we get to fill this in, I think. We could probably use... Oh, I'll need to put the ebony wood plank back there. Um, I should probably fill that in with... Oh, cobblestone will do for the time being, I think. There we go. I'll just fill that in as well. There we are. You can barely spot that. Yeah, it's good enough. That's fine. It's fine. Bit of a bodge job, but that's fine. Just fill that in as well. Right, so the quarry is powered. Now, I can't remember if you need to turn the quarry on with a switch or not. I think you just need to feed power to it. So we should be okay. So what we need to do is feed our engines some power now, and we can watch this baby light up, and we can start getting all those minerals. And as soon as we get the minerals, as soon as we get enough iron, we can make another tank for seed oil. No, we've got, we've got a tank for seed oil. What am I thinking? Well, we can make the biogas engines, at least, and we can get on with making a multi-farm that's right for our walnuts and sweet chestnuts. Oh, yeah! 
Of course, I've got to bash away some of those leaves to get some sweet chestnut saplings. Well, first things first, I'll power up the honey engines. And once these and once these are going away, once these are chugging away at full power, we can check out the quarry, see if it works, and then come back here, hit those leaves, and fingers crossed, get a sweet chestnut sapling. All right, honey going into the engines. Glug, 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 glug. Right, that should probably be enough to start. Oh yeah, these engines are going. Right, so let's quickly get over to the quarry and see this baby in action. Oh yeah, come on, I can't wait to see it. Dig away at the, the earth and watch that arm kind of sweep over the landscape and just gather up all the materials we need to make our farm amazing. Right, here we go. Down we go. Whoop, whoops. Okay, so has it got power? How do we know if it's got power? Is this working? Now we should start to see the quarry get dug. So let's go topside, see if we can see anything from the top. It might take a while before it actually starts going. And it also takes a while to dig away the initial frame that it needs to build. And what's that? It's a red line over there. That's weird. Oh, what's that on the floor? Oh, that must be the quarry thing. What the hell? This is new. I haven't seen this before. So what's going on here? What are you, dude? What's going on now? Hello? I wow, this is the freakiest thing. I've never seen this. I wonder what it... What's it doing? This is crazy. Our quarry is... Oh, yeah, it's definitely working. Look, because the... Look, the land underneath that dirt over there has been dug away. Ah, oh, sweet. So it's definitely working. We've definitely got a quarry that's working. It's just going to take a while to get enough power to start chewing away at the landscape. Anyway, yeah, so the quarry is definitely working. We're not getting any materials yet. Nothing's being piped through the pipes because the quarry itself hasn't actually started to con oh, whoop, construct its arm and dig away at the landscape, but we're definitely making progress and we've definitely started to actually construct the frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go topside and now is a perfect opportunity to start grafting those saplings and see if we, seeing if we can get some more sweet chestnut saplings so we can get our first sweet chestnut tree. But as the sun sets, I'm going to have a quick sleep first and then head out, oh, I'll make, the, I'll make the grafters first and have a quick sleep, head out to the tree field and get grafting those saplings. All right, it's the crack of dawn and it's time to start busting these saplings. Fingers crossed we can get three more sweet chestnuts because we've got one sapling so far, but we need three more, I think, I hope. God, if we need nine, then we're in serious trouble. But I think we only need three more to make our first sweet chestnut tree, so let's do it. Man, I swear the percentage on this is crazy low compared to other saplings because I am getting no sweet chestnuts at all. I've grafted loads of leaves, but I've got no sweet chestnuts apart from just the one. And that's crazy. And, oh, oh I've got two. Oh, wow. Broken sapling. Oh, oh, that just fell apart. Oh, yes, three sweet chestnuts. So now, let's check these chests. I think this is where I put the other sweet chestnut tree. Now, before I plant this, let's just take another look at our quarry, see if it started to build the frame yet. I don't see the frame. That rude dude is still digging around, though. Look at this thing. Oh, he's a real machine. Now, he has actually dug away at where we need him to dig. But it's taking forever. Oh, man, I worry if there's too much power being split in my system. I'd hope that this quarry would get me loads of materials, but it's taking an age before it even starts doing that. Maybe that's maybe that's a thing, though. Maybe quarries now take a lot of time to get set up, but once they are set up, they don't need that much power to actually dig. Fingers crossed, at least. Anyway, we've got four chestnut trees, chestnut saplings to put down and see what this tree looks like. So let's head over to the last available field for the orchards and see what it looks like. Now, it's important I have these orchards because if push comes to shove, if something crazy happens and all my chests get looted and exploded, fear not, I can always come back here and any tree I want, I can just get a grafter out, graft away at the, uh, at the leaves and get the saplings of exactly the kind of tree that I need. Okay, four saplings for the sweet chestnut. Now, trees do have different properties. You can actually breed qualities in your trees, but I'm not really sure how that works and what kind of qualities you can breed. But let's try the bone meal and see what this baby looks like. Here we go. It's... It's not... Oh, no! What's happened now? It's crashed! I crashed again? We'll be right back, guys. Oh, okay, so I've reloaded after the crash, and wow. Oh, I... I 
This looks amazing. Look at the color of these leaves. That is such a rich green on oh, the olive texture on what looks to be the sweet chestnuts. And look at the logs. There's a kind of moss thing going on on the side. So this is perfect for if I want to build a kind of like aztec -y overgrown temple with wood or some kind of swampy kind of village, then I definitely want these logs. This is amazing. Okay. Well, I've got some more grafts left over. So let's graft the leaves, get some of these nuts. Now, what kind of nuts do they drop as well, actually? I'm curious about that. Now, I'll chop this tree down now that I've used all my all my grafters. And, oh, yeah. Look at the color. Look at the texture of that wood as well. It's a kind of subtle cream color. That's a really nice, really nice texture there, actually. Great for, great for flooring, I think. So I'll just chop this tree down. All the rest of the leaves should fall, and we'll get a few more saplings. And then we can fill up this orchard with sweet chestnut trees. Oh man, look at these trees. They're so cool. They're so tall. They're much nicer than the common walnuts. But do they actually make nuts as a produce? I'm not sure if you can use them on multi farms to actually harvest nuts. I don't see any nuts on the floor either. But I'll just use these bones as bone meal. There we go. And put down this final tree. Just keep right clicking. Steady as she goes. There we go. Perfect. And there we go. Well, guys got my hazmat suit off but that's fine this has been feed the world and today we've taken a look at the quarry that's all up and running it's all piped up it's powered up and the furnace and the pulverizer system is already ready to go as well so we've got the sweet chestnuts as well and everything's looking good i think we're almost done with our tree journey we can go into the balsa wood and sequoia tree line but we'll do that at another time because for the time being i just want to get the materials up and running so that i can build a multi-farm for a walnut or sweet chestnut tree then farm the seeds from that and the walnuts to make seed oil that we can use in engines to get even more power so we can get our quarry going even quicker and our bee DNA grinder even quicker and all the machines on the farm just souped up super fast. So I've been Stjin and this has been Feed the World. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Hit like and favorite and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.